Hi and welcome to the player review of informed Clayton Donaldson, who plays for Birmingham City in the Football League Championship. He's six foot one tall, right footed, he's got high medium work rate, a three star weak foot and three star skills. Now looking at his in-game stats, his standouts are his 89 strength, 84 agility, 81 acceleration, 80 finishing and 80 attack positioning. We've also included all of the upgrades from his non inform as well, so you can see each individual stat increase on every single stat. So you can always pause the video if you want a closer examination of his stats now. So now on to how we felt about Inform Donaldson. So we did get this Inform for destroying Wigan with a hat trick at home. And we've got to say it is really nice upgrade as well. So let's have more Inform upgrades like this one here. It really is an improvement over his non-inform. I found Inform Donaldson quite dominant up front with his 89 strength. So he can hold off most defenders up top. And he does have the pace as well. He got his 81 acceleration and 78 sprint speed. Found it totally fine. He doesn't really struggle for pace at all up top. And I was surprised to find out he does have his 84 agility as well. To help him jink in between the defenders. And although the ball wasn't tight to his feet with his 63 ball control and 65 dribbling. He did still manage to get through a fair few uh, defenders even in heavy traffic as well. As you'll see in the clips he's jinking in between defenders. I was pleasantly surprised at how well he coped with his dribbling. And as you can see his dribbling isn't all that bad. It makes him look like a much higher rated player. Looking at the clips, you wouldn't have guessed he was only a 70 rated silver. And shooting wise, it was quality as well. He's got 76 shot power, 72 long shot and 80 finishing. And on a 70 rated striker, I think that is pretty damn good stats. And it showed in game as well. Finishing well, both inside and outside of the box. Had a decent finish from outside. And inside, he was able to tuck him away around the keeper. And his attacking games aided with his high attacking work rate and his 80 attack position as well. So he's going to be taking up decent positions in and around the box. He does only have 59 heading and only 59 jumping, which I found a bit of a shame. But we still managed to get up for a couple of headers as well. Uh, I think his strength does help him in that aspect, holding off the defenders rather than jumping above him. So he is able to still win a ball. He just can't jump that high and his heading isn't that good. So let's have a look at Inform Donaldson's performance stats. So in six games, we scored 12 goals. So he's getting two a game. He got one assist as well. All stats are on the left. All goals are on the right. Position map bottom right shows where all the goals were scored from as well. So overall, we're going to give Inform Donaldson an 8.7 out of 10. Really enjoyed using him. He's a great silver Inform. He's got a massive upgrade from his non-Inform. Good pace, amazing strength. And does have the agility to get through his defenders, as you've seen in the clips. And can finish as well. 80 finishing on a 70 rated striker is pretty good. Perfect for an English silver team or a championship squad. Highly recommended you go out and try him. He's around 25 to 40k on both systems. Uh, would be a lot higher without this team of the week. He's dragging all the players' prices down. So highly recommend if you can get him for around 30, go and get him. So finally, just on some positive and negatives, positives are, he's got a good pace, he's got a great 89 strength, he's got good agility for a big man, and he's got his great 80 finishing as well. Only real negatives, we put league, championship is not really as popular, but is a quality league to use. We put heading and jumping, he didn't really manage to get up for many headers, but we did manage to score a couple, mainly using his strength to bully the defenders out of the way. So if he did have a heading and jumping, I think he would be a really, really amazing striker. He is really, still really, really good though, and I highly recommend you give him a go. So hopefully you did enjoy the review, hopefully it helped out a lot. If you did, please leave a like, it does help the channel out a lot. And subscribe if you're new, we've got loads more reviews and squad builders coming up. So stay tuned for them, cheers lads, peace.